Ladies and gentlemen, here she is now, that sultry siren of the Southland, Betty Page. Betty Page is revolutionary. The symbol of joyous sexual freedom. There was nothing like Betty. Still to this day, inspires artists, music, the fashion world. She really paved the way for all the rest. She wasn't just a pretty face. There was a fascinating story about this woman. Nobody can deny it. Betty was so perfect, it would be hard to take a bad picture. This combination of naughty and nice. I never had any problem thinking of what to do with my body. <laughs> she was willing to do outrageous things. For some reason, men like to see girls spanking the other one. Repercussions from the New York hearings have been nationwide. In the culture was an enormous amount of fear know when and how you're going to say no. Anything that got people sexually excited was a bad thing. Somebody went to the police. Here they are with drawn guns. What were we going to do? And the judge said, you want to keep your freedom, you have to destroy all the negatives. I said, I won't do it. Betty says, I'm not indecent. I will not plead guilty. She reached the peak of popularity and disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to Betty Page. Oh, Betty, the world was not quite bad. I heard a lot of crazy rumors. She was hearing voices. She was slinging hash. She pleaded insanity. The mob had rubbed her out. It had built up so much that my mind snapped. The whole Betty Page phenomenon developed while she was simply off the scene. Three cheers to Betty Page! It's sort of confusing whether she was a real person or not. They claim that I opened up the sexual revolution. Daddy, please say you I was just doing my job and enjoyed every bit of it. Daddy, please say you mind.